Welcome to an incredible journey into the fascinating realm of economic systems. Today, we embark on a thrilling journey where we will uncover the advantages and disadvantages of four influential systems that have left an indelible mark on our world. Capitalism, Communism, Fascism, and Socialism. Brace yourselves for a mind-bending expedition like no other. Let's kick off this adventure with capitalism. A dynamic and intricate system that revolves around the principles of private ownership and free markets. Picture a world where individual initiative, entrepreneurship, and the pursuit of profit reign supreme. Capitalism fuels competition, sparks innovation, and propels economic growth as individuals passionately strive to produce goods and services with utmost efficiency. It's as if an invisible hand guides the flow of resources, ensuring they are allocated wisely based on the ever-shifting dance of supply and demand. Capitalism's undeniable strength lies in its uncanny ability to generate unprecedented wealth and economic prosperity. It's like a turbocharged engine of innovation, propelling advancements in technology, medicine, and various industries. It has elevated countless individuals from the depths of poverty paving the way for boundless opportunities and upward mobility. Moreover, capitalism serves as a champion of hard work, talent and audacious entrepreneurial spirit, rewarding those who dare to dream big. But hold on tight. For even in the realm of capitalism, shadows loom. Critics argue that this system can deepen income inequality, sow the seeds of environmental devastation and place profit above all else. The relentless pursuit of wealth can overshadow pressing social and environmental concerns, perpetuating systemic injustices and leaving some feeling isolated and alienated. It's a balancing act that demands careful navigation to create a more equitable and sustainable society. Now, let us shift our gaze to communism, a vision born from the desire to construct a classless society where the means of production are collectively owned. In this utopian realm, resources are allocated according to need, and every individual contributes according to their abilities. Imagine a world, free from exploitation and inequality, where cooperation and solidarity illuminate the path towards true equality. Communism's strength lies in its unwavering focus on equality and the eradication of class divisions. By collectively owning the means of production, Communism strives to eliminate the stark economic disparities that plague societies. It envisions a world where everyone has access to essential resources and the collective spirit binds communities together in harmonious cooperation. But, let us not forget the challenges that communism has faced in practice. Critics argue that centralized planning and the absence of market mechanisms can stifle individual initiative and innovation. History has witnessed the emergence of authoritarian regimes that curtailed civil liberties and failed to meet the diverse needs of their populations. The road to implementing communist ideals is treacherous, where theory and reality often clash. As we venture further into the labyrinth of economic systems, we stumble upon fascism. A system characterized by strong central control, unwavering nationalism, and the suppression of opposition. Fascism is a world where hierarchical order prevails, with the state holding supreme authority, while individual rights bend to the collective will. Fascism's apparent strength lies in its ability to forge a sense of national unity and purpose. It harks back to a time when society is bound by shared values and common goals offering stability and greatness. But let's tread cautiously, for the association of fascism with militarism and xenophobia has cast a dark shadow on its legacy. The rise and fall of fascist regimes serve as chilling reminders of the dangers posed by unchecked nationalism and the silencing of dissent. Finally, let us unravel the mysteries of socialism, an economic system that seeks to strike a delicate balance between the pursuit of equality and the efficiency of market mechanisms. In socialism, the means of production are owned or regulated by the state or the community. 
aiming to promote equitable wealth distribution and ensure essential services are accessible to all members of society. It's a world where the pursuit of fairness takes center stage. Socialism's strength lies in its unwavering emphasis on social welfare and the provision of essential services to all individuals. By redistributing wealth and resources, socialism seeks to bridge the chasm between the haves and the have-nots, ensuring that everyone's basic needs are met. Proponents of socialism argue that it can foster social cohesion and a collective sense of responsibility, uniting communities in the pursuit of a fairer society. But beware, for critics argue that excessive central control can lead to inefficiency, hinder innovation, and dampen individual motivation. The delicate balance between social welfare and economic liberty must be struck to avoid stifling economic growth and personal freedoms. Some countries have attempted to navigate this tightrope by adopting a form of social democracy, blending elements of socialism with a market-based economy. It's a quest to provide a robust social safety net while allowing entrepreneurial freedom and healthy market competition. As we near the culmination of this exhilarating exploration, we must recognize that the search for the perfect economic system for modern societies is a multifaceted and ever-evolving endeavor. There is no one-size-fits-all solution. The choice of an economic system is deeply influenced by cultural, historical, and geopolitical contexts. Our societies are complex tapestries, woven with diverse populations and their unique aspirations. In the end, the quest for the best economic system requires a careful evaluation of strengths and weaknesses, a commitment to comprehensive and sustainable growth, and an unwavering focus on the diverse needs and aspirations of our communities. It is through this continuous evaluation and adaptation of economic systems that we can strive towards a future that embraces the principles of justice, prosperity, and harmony. So, my fellow seekers of knowledge, as we conclude this extraordinary odyssey through the realms of economics and social systems, let us remember that our understanding of these intricate systems empowers us to shape the world we live in. May our thirst for knowledge, our unwavering curiosity, and our collective determination guide us in unraveling the complexities of our economic and social landscape. Until we meet again, may the winds of curiosity fill your sails on this never-ending journey. So, did you discover anything new today? Can you think of any other interesting fact we should include? Leave them in the comments section below.